Christmas is right here. What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, you might realize that I'm back at my editing place situation thing. I've been back home for about a week now, and since I've been back, I've kind of figured out that things needed to change. It's the end of 2017. Whoa. I get to take that skill off the list. If you are one of those lovely people that are familiar with this surrounding, you'll realize there are a couple of minor details that I have fixed. And I feel work. First, I fixed this situation going on here. I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cotton is out to be my lady only. I'm wondering what you got for me. Egyptian cotton is out to be my lady only. After this, moving on to the table, I put a real plant in the corner, and finally, I got this table calendar to help me keep on top of my sh- Okay, maybe not finally, because I also got a carpet. The second big thing for me to change was the viewer quality of the vlogs. So since I started making the YouTube videos, I've been using this one tough, awesome mother- This is my Canon T2, and she's been with me everywhere I've gone for the last eight years. Scotland, England, Sri Lanka, South India, Vermont, California, Boston, New York, photo shoots. She's just been there for everything. But in this case, I'm purely talking about YouTube videos. The good thing about the Nikon is the fact that it keeps me in focus while I record, but the bad thing is it doesn't have a flip out screen. And that shouldn't matter because it's, if I'm always in focus, I'm in focus. But the negative side of it is it does not have a microphone attachment, which to me, I care about quality. Even though you may not be able to tell right now, the quality of these are gonna go up. I borrowed a softbox from one of my friends so I can light this situation and not have to wait for the sun to be out. And ah, uh, this is what it, this is what I've been waiting for. We have an unboxing to do. <laughs> that never gets old. Rogue Mike. Neewer. However you say it. Uh, it's a battery pack. I'm gonna assume they're batteries. A variant ND filter. You have no idea how excited I am. <laughs> it really does get old. It's a mini pistol grip tripod. 232 gigs SD cards. Lens cleaning kit. Travel bag. Hell yes. Got myself a new Canon 80D. This is what the second hype was about. I'm so excited about this camera. The flip out screen to vlog. I do need to get an extra lens, which is a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. If anybody wants to buy it, ship it out. I'd appreciate it. My birthday's coming up in like 15 days, so I think it's time to deck it out. <laughs> I'm just. It's. Oh, even a vlog. This is quite a large and it's a heavier setup than my last one. But I'm a little glad that the microphone's a lot smaller than the last one. Though I might want to invest in a dead cat. Just so you guys know, this used to be my old audio setup. And that's a dead cat. And this is the new one. Okay, so if you stuck around this long, I just have one last change I was kind of contemplating on doing, but I didn't know whether I wanted to do it or not. Okay, if you guys have stuck around this long, I've saved the best for last. Kinda, I'm still unsure. The last big change I wanted to make kinda had to do with me. I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet, though. Eh, I was thinking about shaving my head. Now hear me out, the reason why I've been wanting to shave my head for a really long time is because my hair is kinda how I express myself. I've had it long, I've had it short, I've had it in a mohawk, I've had it blonde. Throughout my life, I've been known for what I do with my hair, but I've never actually shaved it all off. And I've seen a lot of people do it and kind of like liberate themselves as a new beginning kind of thing. It's not that for me, it's just a change. I just want to do it because change. But I don't know if I want to do it. So I'm always stuck with me shaving my head or growing it out. And every time I ask my hairdresser, do I shave it out, do I grow it out? She refuses to shave my head. Brenda, I know you're watching. Positive part about shaving your head is it grows back.
the negative side is it's winter and it's snowing and it's below freezing all the time. I'm gonna have brain freeze just all the time. The positive about growing my hair out, it keeps me warm. I can maintain the way it looks. And if I don't like it, I can hide it. I'm probably not gonna do it. Always take care of it. It's conditioned, it's shampooed, not in that order. Hair wax instead of gel, no hairspray, no mousse, no putty. I use putty, no, that's a lot. You know me, I'm about the grooming. Oh my god, if you guys could run your fingers through my hair, I just washed it last night and it feels like silk. I've done it, haven't I? Yeah. Now just to try to fade it. Oh no. Oh, this is it. I did it. I wanted to do it. I don't know if I like it. It was kind of like expectation versus reality. I don't know. That's all I have to offer today, people. So if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash that like button because it helps. And don't forget to turn on your notification buttons because I would like for you to join me on the next episode. But until next time, I need to figure out a way how to end these videos. So. Bye. Sort of feel like I look like a tough guy now, but <laughs> I still sound like a 12 year old.